Tanks that should be banned in Battletech. That's what we're going to explore in this Battletech Tactica Vlog. And by banned, I don't mean illegal to play, but banned as in that perfect balance of battle value, what they bring to the tabletop, and the usability of it makes it an auto-include. Makes it feel, of course it depends if you're playing the tanks or facing against them, quite unfair. And I'm going to offer my top three tanks, and these can be considered auto-include in your collection as soon as you jump into combined arms. Battletech is great. We can do the mechs, but we can also add in infantry, tanks, artillery, air support, and it very much changes the dynamics of the game. And much like you see with mechs, there are certain mechs that are really, really focused on something specific, like the longbow or the Jaeger mech. We explored that yesterday. I pushed that up to the Battletech playlist here. And then there are, are mechs that are just kind of whatever situation they find themselves in, they're trooper mechs. They're, they're effective. We see the Battlemaster. We see the T-Bolt, the Thunderbolt. On the opposite side with tanks, these are tanks that are just auto-include. They combine the best of the vehicle rules, but they're still vehicles. What I mean by that is they're subject to motive hits, to terrain, and some nuances that offset the battle value. But what you get for that battle value can be a serious threat to some mechs. Now, we've got that framework. Here are my top three, and then I'm going to turn it over to my fellow mech warriors and mech commanders for your top three or top five, whatever we need to justify purchasing more miniatures for our collection. The first is the Saladin. This is a hovercraft, low armor, moves very, very fast, and mounts one Auto Cannon 20 for 483 or 485, 40-something battle value. That's massive. You take two of these, you send them out. They're, they're getting rear armor. They're hanging out behind a building, and they can't be line of sight. They can't draw fire to it. They zip out on the initiative, and they've got rear armor. Any mech autocannon, 20, rear armor is massive. And, and just the speed, the threat, being able to position it, and zoom out and blast. You might only get one or two shots, but if those things connect, and even if they don't connect, the distraction of it is absolutely massive. Number two, the Partisan, and, and we explored this a little bit yesterday, four auto cannons for 673 battle value, quad auto cannons with enough ammo for some sustained firepower. And motive hits to this vehicle are not as deadly. I say not as deadly because motive hits chew things up very fast. But if you can get this tank hull down, four autocannons, you take two of them, you take three of them in a good position, that is a withering, a withering amount of firepower putting on a single target. Um, especially if there's some areas that are weakened, some armor's a little bit getting ready to go to internals. You just light this thing up. Number three. Now... This is not the lulls of the Battletech universe. It's very, very effective for the battle value. The Savannah Master. One medium laser mounted on a hovercraft chassis. So just take an engine, take a power plant, mount it on a lawn chair, and, and put like a, a, a not even um, armored cover over it. These things move extremely fast. A medium laser, 215 battle value. 215. That's crazy. What you get with that is a guaranteed rear armor shot, um, especially if you could take two or three or four of them. You get massive initiative sinks, right? You can put these into a position, hide them somewhere, and when it's your turn for initiative, okay, I'm going to activate the Savannah Master. It's not going to move. It stays here. Even if you lose initiative, you can force your opponent to burn initiative, move their pieces, and then really move your mechs to react to the most favorable position but much like the saladin moving out with that medium laser rear armor it's not as deadly as the auto cannon 20 but the battle value is so low and uh, we see this duality of if it's higher battle value games you take a, a fleet of saladins and you move them out if it's lower battle value games and you need to save that you take a fleet of savannah masters and right in the middle of that we've got the partisan tank 
Now, turning it over to my fellow Mech Warriors, Mech Enthusiasts, Mech Commanders. Top three, top five, top one. Auto-include tanks that just on that factor, they should be banned from Battletech. 